You know what time it is. You know why I'm back. We are on to part two of the Blade Trilogy series. That means we are on to Blade 2. We are now into the 2002, so four years later from the 1998 movie we just watched, Blade. I wonder why they waited so long, but hey, at least we got a second uh, film in the franchise, right? The first one was fun. I'm looking forward to the second one. Uh, this time around, though, uh, the movie is directed by Guillermo del Toro, which I found really cool. I did not know that until I just looked it up recently. And honestly, he's a great director, so I'm anticipating this film more than the first one um i'm really looking forward to this uh he, he's been around he's been he's done many films i i am a huge fan of the hellboy uh series that he directed i think those are great movies um probably underrated honestly to a lot of people and i really wanted a third one from him but uh the second one was a great installment in the hellboy uh franchise i think i even liked the second hellboy uh the golden army more than the first hellboy but uh, that being said i really wanted a third movie from that franchise but uh hey anything's possible right <laughs> um yeah but we will just have to see but that's on a side note right now i'm talking about blade 2 and he's directing this film like i said i am anticipating this film more than i did the first one now that i know he's directing it i literally just found that out i think that's a cool thing i did not know but i'm glad i do now um but yet again i have no clue what i'm getting myself into the first blade i had n i knew nothing about it and this time around i still don't know anything about blade 2 so um i'm really intrigued to see what it has in store for me uh i know i just looked it up as i saw that guillermo del toro is directing this i also saw that norman reedus is also in this movie which i find really cool because i used to be a huge huge walking dead fan kind of slowed down uh the past years with the new uh, seasons and i kind of lost interest a little bit but that being said the first like five to seven seasons were fantastic and i i loved i love the hell of that show but now i'm just kind of kind of i don't know just drifted away from the uh franchise maybe i'll come back to it later on and uh but uh yeah for now i i just wanted to add that in because norman reyes is a huge character in the walking dead and uh probably my favorite character in the uh in the walking dead uh franchise so yeah i i think that's really cool and also uh i also saw ron perlman is in this i think i remember vaguely knowing that he is the bad guy in this movie i'm not sure he could be a good guy but um yeah uh i'm i'm really intrigued to see what he uh, his role is in this movie because i really like ron perlman as a lot of you know he played hellboy and guillermo del toro's uh franchise of the movie of the comic book so yeah, that's cool. I, I think Ron Perlman's a great actor as well. Um, and also, uh, I saw Chris Christopherson is also back in this movie, and we all saw his fate in in the movie we just watched, um, Blade. So uh, I'm kind of intrigued to know how he is coming back. Maybe it's a flashback. Maybe it's I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to see. Maybe he comes back as a vampire. I I have no clue. But uh, yeah, you're gonna get a good reaction out of me because I will be amazed how they bring him back. But yeah, guys, I'm wasting time as always. Let's jump right into this. You know my drill. You know what I'm about to do. We are going to be watching this film together. I'm going to be reacting to it, commentating on it, and after the movie, give my little uh, short review of how this movie holds up and see if it's worth your time and uh, you'll see my score for the film. But other than that, guys, yeah, you know the drill. We're going to get right into this movie, Blade 2, 2002, directed by Guillermo del Toro. New Line Cinema yet again. I still find this funny because Blade is a Marvel character, right? So, uh... For New Line Cinema, who is a Warner Brothers company, to be making these films, did they have the rights to uh, the Blade franchise, which is Marvel, even though Warner Brothers is DC? I don't know. I'm a little confused on that, but I find it in interesting and cool. Dude, this, this guy is sketchy. I mean, this whole thing is sketchy. Oh, they're gonna kill him. I knew that. This is a good news, bad news scenario, Jared. Good news for us. He has no next of kin. That means nobody's gonna know about it. Like, nobody really cares about him. He's gonna die. They're gonna kill him right now. Oh, shoot. Never mind. Oh, shoot. Yo. Here I was thinking that they're the bad guy. And he was the one I should have been worried about. 
That's some opening, man. That totally caught my attention. My name is Blade. They call me the Daywalker. Hmm, nice little recap. Twenty years ago, I met a man whistler. Gave me the weapons. So is this the this is the only time we're gonna see Chris Christopherson then in the movie? That little uh, flashback. They took it. Now I'm hunting him. There is something about Wesley Snipes that just screams cool. <laughs> Blade's kind of like Batman in a sense, only uh, he kills people. <laughs> and Batman's not a vampire. Goodbye. Oh, I thought he was going to get a headshot. That's pretty cool. That I think that's pretty slick. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. This is a pretty badass opening. I think I might be speaking too soon, but I kind of like this more than the opening for the first one, for the first play. I think it's pretty cool that every time he uh, like kills him with a silver bullet, silver knife, uh, whatever those dagger things he has are, they um, like erupt in flames. Damn, without hesitation. That's what I like to see. Get you later. Old man. Look at what they've done to you. Hmm. So this is Chris Christopherson, right? Now we get to find out what happened to him after the first one. I like that they brought him back, though. That's cool. But will he be an ally or a foe? That is something that has yet to be determined. So, uh, is someone going to explain why uh, we heard a gunshot in the first movie, thinking that that was him killing himself? Oh, Norman Reedus. <laughs> oh. You can't kill him. He saved him as a kid, so uh, it's his time. It's his turn to return the favor. I'm giving him an accelerated retroviral detox. <laughs> no, no words, just uh, movement. <laughs> With no more uh, Whistler making his weapons for that uh, amount of time, uh, how was he capable of uh, like developing all these serums and uh, I don't know, am you am ammo for uh, vampires and like the silver stuff? <laughs> Who the hell is this guy? What's your problem, Poppy? My problem is I've been sucking blood clots for two years. Get out and find some jerk off fucking with my life's work and jeopardize our whole operation to save your puckered old Our operation? Our operation? I built this operation. You oh, you don't, you don't tell the old man what to do, man. That's the OG right there. Now someone infiltrated their lair. Dude, I'm digging this movie so far. Oh, shoot. They are silent. Damn it, man. Oh, I was going to say, if they kill him right off the bat. Are they vampires? You got to turn on the light. Exactly. Turn on the lights. Making an assumption here. I don't think they're bad guys. I think they want to help. Whoever did the choreography for these movies is kick ass. These are pretty awesome stunts. Martial arts, too. CGI needs a little work, but uh, I mean, this is 2002. I can't really talk that much about it. We represent the ruling body of the vampire nation. They're offering you a truce. They want to meet with you. You have been our most feared enemy. Now there's something else on the streets. Something worse than you. I told you. I knew it. I didn't think they were there to kill them. I'm good at this stuff, man. Ow. Now we just have to, like, touch a handprint, a uh, sensor, like a fingerprint. <laughs> we don't have to stick needles in our hand. Father. Dracula? It has been said, be proud of your enemy and enjoy his success. I should thank you. Or what? 
eliminating Kevin Frost. You did us a favor. <laughs> Barely, I'm a lawyer. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I'm a virus. Unfortunately, viruses evolved too. We've encountered a new one. We've got to the weaker strain. Unlike any good pathogen, it appears to have found a carrier. There, Jared Nomak. He feeds a lot of humans. But vampires as well. <laughs> Looks like he was doing me a favor. Their vampire victims don't die. They turn. Nomak's been up for 72 hours. So, a new common My enemy. Husbands, there are already a dozen reapers. <laughs> We're going to get this right. You want me to hunt them? For you? When they have finished with us, who do you think they'll turn on next? We spent two years training a small tactical unit, the Blood Pack. We want you to lead them. Two years. They are ready whenever you are. Blade, lead the Blood Pack. Light Hammer. Verlaine. That's a big ass dude. Snowman, Trooper, <laughs> and Reinhardt. Oh! Okay. So is Ron Perlman a good guy? <laughs> Dude, this, this is cool. Oh, still can't do it. He's Blade, man. Oh, dude, he is a total badass. Yeah, nobody's gonna mess with him no more. <laughs> he took out the biggest, baddest guy in the group. I'm guessing this is where uh, Guillermo uh, del Toro uh, met Ron Perlman. And that's how he uh, probably came to like him and uh, pretty soon gave him the starring role in Hellboy. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just making a guess. Since you suckers don't like sunlight, modify the gun's entry light with UV filter. Pop it open, here's some UV light. Hmm. Filter's on, no problem. Yobi, check this out. He's got a pneumatic syringe delivery system. Oh, that's cool. Files are filled with an anticoagulant called EDTA. One punch with this, you blow your target up like a balloon. Nice. That's dope. It's kind of like Assassin's Creed style. So the blood pack's calling the shots now, huh? Just for now. You're about to enter a world. Hmm. You will see things. Feeding. Just remember why you're here. Yeah, he can't do anything about that. <laughs> this is the vampire world. He can't, uh... He can't, he can't touch on anything in this place without, uh, messing things up. So, uh, yeah, he's gonna have to keep his hands behind his back. Oh, another club. Hopefully there's no uh, blood showers anymore. <laughs> it would be so easy, huh? Dare you. I dare you, man. I want to see what happens. Oh, shoot. He's good. He is good, man. Guillermo uh, has a distinct look of his the movies he directs, so this totally looks like a Guillermo uh, movie, <laughs> which I found really cool. It's it's a lot of to do with like directors' styles, and so you can see that like in the Nolan movies and like uh, who else, Michael Bay, and so I think it's cool that uh, you can totally tell that this is a Guillermo uh, movie. Oh God, that's one scary looking Gollum hasn't ain't gotten anything on that guy. This guy's like ten times scarier. Dude, did they get him? Is that the guy from Fast and the Furious? I could be wrong, but it looks very he looks very similar. That guy. The one that didn't get along with Paul Walker in the first movie. I wouldn't have left that bus, man. Ah, oh, shoot. Dude, get back in. Get back in. Norman Reedus, come on. Gotta be smarter than that. I don't think that did anything. Nope. Yeah, it had to ruin the party, huh? Oh, he's gonna die. God, what's his name again? That's a famous guy. Uh, Ip Man. I knew it was him. What is his name again? Oh, dude, man. Come on. Somebody's gotta save him right now. Where's uh, Whistler? It's a pretty badass scene. Damn. They're just wreaking havoc. He just said bullets don't do anything. Nobody listens, man. Donnie Yen, right? Oh. Oh. That is gross. 
Dude, he's alive. Yeah, I told you. Oh, oh, God. Oh, that is disgusting. It is exactly like Alien. Oh, God. You're done. Oh, dude, you're done. That is gross. Oh, God. That was a, that was a sight. There you go. Nice. Goodbye. He's probably turned though now, huh? No, he bit you, man. Don't lie. He bit you. Oh, dude, he's going to be a problem. Of course he's going to be a problem in the future. What's uh, Ron Perlman's deal? Where the hell was he? This is going to be a fun fight. No, I don't think you guys want the same thing. I mean, you might have the same enemy, but you're a lot worse. Come on. Assassin's Creed style. Ooh, 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 that is cool. Oh, here comes the sun. Oh, you're going to run away now like a little baby. I don't know, man. Whistler uh, has me guessing something. I mean, not guessing anything specific, but uh, make me think about uh, if he's on their side or not. Hmm. Yeah, so he's the only way you could uh, kill all these people, right? Come on, just do it, man. Be useful. Oh, uh, uh, oh. That's too sick for me, man. Uh-uh, uh-uh. They don't even bleed the same. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Huh. Dude, that's some interesting shit. Father, exactly. She blades a people person. He tries to help out everybody, kind of like Batman. He's kind of similar to Batman, in my opinion. You gotta love this uh, late 90s, early 2000s music. <laughs> it's all similar. Dude, how could you not see the bite on his side of his uh, neck? I, I'm still on the fence about Ron Perlman's character, but I really thought he was going to be the main antagonist of this movie. I, I guess I'm wrong so far, but I'm still back in my head, maybe. So yeah, I did look up his name uh, in the back. That is Donnie Yen. I, I wasn't... No, nah, I mean, I was almost sure, but I forgot his name, and I wanted to be sure, so I looked him up. So, yeah. That's cool, though. Donnie Yen. He's a... He's a martial arts master. Dude, what the hell, man? You guys are on the same team. What the hell, man? You guys are supposed to be fighting the same bad guy, not each other. He is going to be a problem, man. Told you. Oh, God. They all look the same. Oh, my God. You should have flashed him with the light. Oh, dude. She sacrificed herself. Oh, dude. Damn. He knew, too. Crap. Yeah, I like that guy, too. He seemed dope. Kind of sense that Blade and her kind of have a little thing going on a little bit. Maybe not romantic thing, but kind of like uh, attraction. Nice. Nice. That's awesome. Dude, these gadgets on this would make uh, James Bond a little uh, jealous. <laughs> That's dumb right here. 
Why? Just because you guys were calling each other names a little bit, you guys have to fight it out like this? This brings up a, a, a good, a cool thought I have. I wonder what is the most badass vampire we've seen in a feature film. Because these guys are pretty badass. I mean, the, the ones they are fighting. These guys. They're pretty disgusting. And they are pretty strong. But I'm wondering if there is like more badass vampire that we've seen in another movie. That'd be cool though. I would I would like to see them like in a, in a versus movie. Like uh, Freddy vs. Jason. Who would come out on top. Or like Alien vs. Predator. <laughs> it's time for Blade to shine. Ooh, that's cool. Thank you, Scud. Yep, there it is. Shoot, man. No, I don't want her to die. Wait, what did he do? He cut himself? Oh, to feed her? Oh, that's very noble of you, Blade. Wait, what? Wait, what the hell was that? You've done a great job. Not bad for it, I'd say. <laughs> so dumb. They've been lying to us from day one. Wait, what? The Reaper's frame didn't evolve. It was designed. Damn, they were too Tom and Blade. Oh. That'd be a new pure race begotten from my own flesh. She didn't have a clue about this. Soon, even sunlight. Do you want to explain how Nomad got a hold of this ring? I give it to him, of course. Gift of the sun. That's BS, man. She had no clue about it, you can tell. So she's not bad. Aw, oh, you dumb bitch. Ah, uh, they took it out. Wait, what? See this? They needed my help to bring you here to control Nomad. The old fuck is always just fake. You look at him. Dude, everybody's screwing over Blade. What the hell is happening right now? You think they scoped out my security system? Norman's a freaking asshole. One, I've been on to you. This is gonna turn you. Two. It's not a dud. <laughs> Dude, I did not see that coming. Shit, man. It looks like Blade kind of got the last laugh a little bit, Norman. And I even like Scud, too. I liked his character. Damn, that sucks that I had to see him go like that, but he was an asshole, so he deserved it. But, yeah, like I was saying, everybody's screwing over Blade, man. He couldn't trust anybody except Whistler and maybe uh, the daughter. So these vampires were creating these abominations basically of these new ow new uh, and improved vampires that don't have any of the original uh, weaknesses so I was right um, Ron Perlman's character is the bad guy Awesome. Okay. Damn, okay. I like this. Kill these vampires, man. They're all a bunch of assholes. Except the daughter. I like the daughter. So, leave her to be. <laughs> oh, dude. Is he gonna drink all that? Oh, uh, watch out. Damn it, man. No, he's gonna be fine. That's a lot of blood. That's disgusting, but cool, man. <laughs> We're in for a treat. It is cool to see Wesley Snipes in action in these movies. He definitely kicks ass. A lot of ass. <laughs> Dude, these henchmen suck. They don't do anything except prolong the inevitable of him gonna kill the main guy he set out to kill. Hmm. 
Kick it in his face. Ooh. Dude. Oh, you're done. <laughs> Knew that. Well, what's going to happen between them two? Oh, God. Damn, man. I didn't want her to die. Come on, Blade. Everybody screwed you over, man. Like, I would be so annoyed, honestly, to the point where, like, I just screw everybody, honestly. Except Whistler. You're just making them angry. You're not winning. You're just pissing them off. Dude, he should just die. Why does he still want to live? Aren't you not happy with the way you turned out? Wouldn't you just rather die? You just gotta land that kick, come on. Not like that, though. That doesn't seem like it's working. Ooh. Ooh. Dude, you're done. Oh, Ooh, right in the heart. Right in the heart, right? You're done. Goodbye. That's, that, the way that mouth opens like that, it just really so grosses me out. Damn, that sucks. I didn't want her to die. Why did she offer herself like that to him, though? She didn't have to die. Does Blade ever take naps? <laughs> I have not seen him rest yet. He works day and night. <laughs> That's funny. That's cool. That's a cool ending. I, I, that's funny. That's the way it should have ended. <laughs> Damn, Blade 2 was fun. I like that movie. Maybe even more so than the first one, but we can talk about it. Blade 2. We just finished that. I enjoyed that. I appreciate that. <laughs> no, I really like this movie, guys. I'm really glad I got to watch this. Um, it is going to be a guilty pleasure for me from now on. If I ever see it on TV, I'm throwing this on. This is a fun time. This is like martial arts meets vampires meets action a little bit of comedy uh because uh, wesley snipes charisma in this movie is just funny to see him do those little uh smiles and uh i don't know just uh, gimmicks that he did in the movie so i i kind of add that under the comedic genre of film ode to wesley but yeah this is a mixture of a lot of stuff in it and it's cool like this kind of reminds me a little bit even more so than the first one of kind of like Honestly, old-fashioned martial arts movie. There's a lot of martial arts in this movie. And um, I think it's really cool. And it's kind of a more modern take on the genre of martial arts. Especially with throwing in vampires in there. I thought it was pretty dope, guys. Um, Blade 2. I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of like this more. No, not even kind of. I like this more than the first Blade. I had more fun with this movie. I enjoyed it a little more. Um, not to say anything against the first Blade movie. That was a fun time as well. But this more so is more down my alley than the first movie. Uh, I appreciated this more. I thought it had a lot more going for it than the first film. And I think this is owed to a lot to uh, Guillermo del Toro directorial addition to this movie. And so maybe major props to him for uh, directing this film uh but that like i said nothing going against the first movie I, I like the first movie but this one just has it hit a little harder to me i appreciated this movie more than i did so with the first one um i'll give you my grade right now i give this a solid uh, a minus i think this is an a minus movie i enjoyed the hell of it i think this is a great time i think you guys will have a great time with this film as well um if you guys have yet to see this movie in its entirety i highly recommend you guys watch this like i'm, I'm really glad wesley snipes returned for this movie even though it was four years later from the 1998 uh, original movie uh blade so i'm glad to see the existing cast in the first movie return um chris christopherson as well as wesley snipes and that that's basically the original cast there was only like three main actors in that movie in the first one so it wasn't really a huge cast they needed to get back in this movie. But the additions of the newer characters, I appreciate it too. Like, um, her name is hard to pronounce, so I'm going to butcher it. But um, I'm going to try my best. Leonor Varela 
she was a great addition to the movie. I really liked her character because she is a villain of Blade's. Uh, the vampires are against Blade. And so to see her character kind of develop compassion towards uh, Wesley Snipes' Blade and to see them kind of have this <laughs> um, um, entanglement. Uh, a shout out to Will Smith and Jada Pickett Smith. <laughs> um, but kind of like this chemistry towards each other it wasn't really like the first movie it wasn't really sexual as with the other character we saw i'm blanking on her name but you know the woman in the other movie that we saw that was close to blade um kind of the same kind of um chemistry we got with them two in the first movie um she is a vampire and we all we also know that her father is the main well we didn't know he was the main antagonist of the movie well Second main antagonist of the movie until later on, until they revealed that he was two-timing Blade, which kind of pissed me off, still pisses me off. <laughs> um, but yeah, she was she was a bad guy, but they had a common enemy, and they got together to defeat this common enemy, and even so, her dad turned on Blade, as well as Ron Perlman's character, who we found out was in on the joke, uh, except her. She still sided with Blade and uh, threw her dad under the bus at the end, uh, leading, um, how do you say his name, uh, Nomak, leading Nomak to um, kill him in the end and get revenge of the abomination he created, which was Nomak's new and improved, in a way, vampire. So, yeah, her character was a great addition to the movie. I liked her. I really didn't like seeing her die. I thought she would have been cool to see her in the third movie. But as we all know uh, who was in that movie, because I think it's pretty notorious to know that uh, Ryan Reynolds and Jessica Biel are in that movie. And I didn't see any signs of her character from my recollection of seeing movies trailer in uh, on TV back in the day. So I'm just guessing she is dead permanently because uh, anything could happen like we saw with um, the Whistler's character in this movie, which I thought was his last outing in the first movie. So to see his character show up again and have an explanation as to how he's still alive, it was cool. I, li uh, I like Chris Christopherson. He's a cool guy he's been around in the business for a long 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 time he's been doing movies before i was born um i mean same with wesley snipes a lot of these actors are a lot older than me but i'm just saying that he has been around in the business and to see his character not get just uh teared up and written off as we saw in the first movie it's cool to see his character be revived and brought back into this movie because um i like him i like chris christopherson's uh whistler i like uh, his back and forth with uh wesley snipes blade and i think it, he they too make a good duo so hopefully he's in the third one i do not know if he will be in uh blade trinity hopefully he will but as i as i recall i only know that ryan reynolds and uh, jessica biel are in the movie so yeah, like I said, Leonora Varela and Chris Christopherson, I really like their characters. I'm glad they were in this movie. Hate to see her go, like I said, wish she would come back, but um, I guess that's it for her character. Ron Perlman, Ron Perlman's character, like I guessed, he is a bad guy. So in the beginning, we saw Blade and him not really get along. Well, right off bat, you could tell some tension after he stuck that bomb on the back of, uh, <laughs> of Ron Perlman's character's head. So you could already tell they were going to have some issues uh, w while the movie progresses. And to see him kind of show his true colors by the end of the movie when he was um, outed as knowing of what the plan was for the father all along and that he was going to two-time blade by stabbing him in the back i i saw as i'm pretty sure a lot of you have had noticed that his character was probably going to be a bad guy so yeah the, the right off the bat ron perlman great actor he's been in so many movies so many tv shows um sons of anarchy i know is a lot of people's favorite tv show that he has him in it i have yet to watch i've only watched the first episode and i liked what i watched i need to continue it but as for that, I know he's been in a lot. Hellboy. Uh, I think he was in like a Beauty and the Beast uh, live action TV movie or something back in the day. Or it was a TV show. But yeah, he did that a long time ago, I'm pretty sure. He's just been around for a minute. And he's such a cool actor. He's a character actor a little bit in a sense. Um, and like you can tell by his voice. As soon as you hear his voice. And he has a distinct face too. As soon as you see his face, you know that's, that's Ron Perlman. Uh, so yeah, I enjoyed him in the, uh, this movie. He was an antagonist. He had fun with the character. So yeah, I enjoyed his uh, portrayal of Reinhardt. Something I found out recently while I was uh, re researching some stuff about this movie, um, Luke Goss, who plays Nomak, he actually plays the prince in um, Hellboy uh, Golden Army, which is directed by Guillermo del Toro, as a lot of people know. 
So it really does go to show that these directors and actors, they they have a good bond, especially when you hit it off on set. And like, if a director really likes you, he's going to bring you back for future films. And like, you can have a career off that. You just have to develop a relationship with a director or producer. And every time they make a movie or something, they can call, they will call you back. And it's cool that I did not know that because I, I do not know much about Luke Goss except that now that he's in this movie and also he played the prince in um, Hellboy the Golden Army. So I'm glad that I found that out. I think that's cool. I really, that's something that's fun fact for me to know now. But yeah, like I said, Donnie Yen is in this movie. That's another cool thing because um, I, I didn't know much about Donnie Yen before uh, IP Man or Ip Man. I didn't know much about him, but I know he's like really a decorated uh, martial artist. I know he is really respected in the genre of martial arts, and he's just been around for a good minute too as well. So uh, to see him in this movie and to pick him out and for me to forget his name, I that's my bad because I should know his name right off the bat. But to, for me to find out that Donnie Yen is in this movie, and not even a huge role for that matter, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I don't think this was really early on in his career. This came out in 2002. I think he's been in he's been in show business probably for a while before this movie came out. But uh, it was cool to see his character in this movie and especially to play a vampire, a martial arts vampire. I thought that was dope. There is just a lot of stuff in this movie just crammed into one dope film and I appreciate this movie a lot more uh, than I thought I would I didn't I didn't think I was in for as much of a treat as I got with this movie um, the action in this the choreography uh, the set design the the way this movie looked it is a different look than the first blade I don't know what that term is called in like movie technical uh, wording um, I, I'm just gonna say lighting but there is certain like ways movies are shot where the filter is kind of different for certain movies like Nolan you can tell like his filter is very distinct all his movies look pretty similar to one another um same with Guillermo del Toro and just a lot of directors have their kind of like a stamp on their movie and the way it looks and they kind of have a running thing with their films and so this movie is very different looking wise than the first blade movie that we saw and i kind of uh, like this look a little better than the first blade yeah i just like the um, lighting and the filters and this the technical aspect of how this film got uh, brought to the big screen uh so i just wanted to mention that i thought it was pretty cool but yeah guillermo del toro is a great director and this is uh this is a movie i think he should be noted for because i didn't know this i thought this would be talked about a lot more if this uh if this was directed by Guillermo del Toro. Uh, so yeah, th I, I'm really mad at myself for not knowing that he directed this. I should know this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, cool. Maybe It's not one of his biggest movies probably, but still it uh, shows his um, talent for filmmaking. And uh, uh, so far, I think Blade 2 is the best in the Blade trilogy. We have yet to see Blade Trinity, but uh, I already know sort of that that is regarded as probably the worst in the trilogy. So I'm just counting it out at the moment. But hey, I might be surprised. I might love it. I might uh, be the minority in it. But uh, we'll, we will just have to see. But yeah, like I said, Blade, uh, Wesley Snipes kicked ass. I talked a lot about him in the first movie. I feel like I left him out a little a little bit in this, but you already know my feelings toward Wesley Snipes, his charisma, his onstage presence. Say what you will about the guy's work ethic, because I'm sure we all heard about his uh, on-set fiascos on uh, the Blade movie. I heard that, I think, uh, Jessica Biel or Ryan Reynolds. It might have been just for Blade Trinity. I don't know for the other two films, but I, uh, the rumor was that he really didn't show up to work sometimes. He didn't even show up on set uh, sometimes. And like, he just wanted to do the scenes by himself. He didn't want anybody to talk to him. Like, I could just be making up random stuff, but I heard he was hard to work with. So that's just what I'm going off of. And even though, putting that aside, he still is a cool, charismatic, dope, uh, fun actor. And uh, I, I like Wesley Snipes and all that I've seen him in. So uh, that being said, I still think he's a cool guy. I never met the guy, but just saying that from what I see in Blade 2, he still can kick ass, and I think it's dope. I had a fun time with this movie, so like you guys know. So yeah, that was Blade 2, guys, and I'm really glad we got to watch this together. I hope you guys are too, and I hope you guys enjoyed my little commentary on this film. But let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Blade 2 and if it's your favorite in the Blade trilogy. And let me know if I uh, missed anything to talk about in this movie that um, kind of skipped past me. Because uh, I am always down to learn about new and fun and uh, 
insightful stuff about the movies. I know all you guys out there know specific things about these films that I'm just dying to know as well. So yeah, fill me in if you guys want to. But other than that, if you guys like what you saw today, maybe hit that like button. And if you really, really like what you saw, um, stay tuned for Blade Trinity. And so you guys won't have to push any buttons. Maybe hit that notification bell and subscribe and you will get notified when I post the next video. And you will not have to do a single thing. <laughs> it just comes to you. So yeah, subscribe, and also guys, I hope you guys are always having a great day. I really appreciate you guys, and I, I hope you're enjoying what I've been putting out. But other than that, this is me saying peace.